Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for February 26th through March 4th. And this is for the sign of Libra. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. The, the past few have not been, so we'll see what happens. Ooh. You guys may be severing ties from something. There could be some tension, and you may be just w ready to, like, cut the tension. You know, I think that uh, there's been some kind of power struggles, perhaps, and you may be um, walking away from it. Uh, this unnecessary drama in your life. You may be severing some sort of ties with some sort of drama. I do see a new beginning though, which is great. This is a new uh, growth. There could be a new partner on the horizon or this is just something that's exciting that's coming into your life. Something new and exciting is coming in. But you have to make a decision, of course, as usual. All right, it could bring some confusion. and it, This is confusing. You can tell that it is. Here you have severing ties and then you have a new beginning. So the mate, yeah, that would bring some confusion. You know, what What do I do here? What do I do here? I mean, to have a new beginning, you might have to get rid of something first. I mean, sometimes that's the case. So, I mean, I feel like things are growing and that things are actually blossoming for you. But you, you have to really consider the choices that you are going to make. Something is you're going to have to make a decision this week and you're going to have to think twice about making it. Okay, whatever something comes up, really think twice about the consequences of your decision. Do you want this this new partner? Do you want this new thing that's being, this new opportunity that's being offered to you? Do you really, really want it? I mean, that's the question. Okay. So, yeah. You've got to choose between two. you got to, which way you're going to go. I mean, it's pretty clear. You have to, you have a choice. Which direction you're going to go. That's what I see. I, it appears to me that your things are finally starting to turn in your favor. You've been patient. I see patient. I see that you've had. There's been a lot of growth, and things are actually blossoming, blossoming very, very well in your favor. I feel like whatever you've been expecting is coming. It's here. Now you, now you have to make a decision. Whatever you've been waiting for is here. And it could come very, very quickly. I mean, there could be a severing of ties that comes very quickly. Maybe you decide to to sever some ties like that instantly, okay? Because this is a very quick, hasty decision. Perhaps there's something that, come, that happens very quickly um, that forces or gives you a new opportunity. Maybe once you sever these ties, a new opportunity pops up like that. Something is going to happen very quickly. You may be feeling withdrawn though. You may be feeling emotional at this time. Uh, you may be feeling like you don't even want to deal with this right now. Something could happen that is is overly emotional and that's why you're confused. I, I do see a feeling of confusion here where you may be feeling withdrawn okay something could happen so quickly that you might need time to deal with it you might need me you might need time to even take a time out to be alone okay there may be something that happens that is even overwhelming okay there may be some overwhelming emotion here and that's why you're being called to just take this time out Take this time to really think about this decision, this choice, when whatever this new opportunity is that's presented to you. Really take all the time you need to make this choice, okay? Um, something is ending. Something is absolutely ending. This is like a death, okay? So something is ending. When you've been expecting it, though. It's not like you haven't been expecting this to end. You have. You've been expecting it to end, and you just didn't know when it was going to end. But the time is now. Something is going to end. But I have to tell you, this ending brings a new opportunity with that Ace of Wands. That Ace of Wands is growth, okay? It's, and it's a gift from God. 
So whatever is ending is bringing you a gift, okay? It's, it's really going to expand your horizons more than you know, okay? <laughs> although, although at one point it's going to make you really unhappy. Yes, there's going to be some kind of upheaval. Okay, there's going to be some kind of crisis, and I'm sorry to tell you this, Libra. There's going to be some kind of crisis where, you know, it makes you feel really unhappy. Okay, there's going to be an unhappy circumstance that comes about. And I can't, I mean, these are what the cards say. And anybody that, that uh, knows how to read cards can pretty much say, see this, okay? There's going to be an unhappy circumstance that is going to come about, that is going to bring about some kind of ending, some kind of completion. And it may be overwhelming, okay? It may be overwhelming. But it could bring you a new love or a new partner in the future, okay? Because this is the future as well. Whatever is happening is bringing you something new, okay? So just have some faith, have some faith. Whatever ends, it could happen quickly. It could happen very quickly, but it's a blessing in disguise because that's what the tower is. The tower is a blessing in disguise, okay? It really is. So don't be scared. There could be a union, okay? A new union on the horizon, okay? But right now, I feel like you're confused. You're going through some kind of hard time this week. You're going through a hard time emotionally. The, the completion could be of a union, okay? I mean, I'm just telling you what I see. There is some unhappiness in regards to another person, okay? And, but the thing is, it brings you in new growth. It brings you in a new opportunity. So just just do the best that you can. And we'll get the next deck here. I really feel that this is a blessing in disguise because there's unhappiness anyway. There's some kind of unhappiness here that needs to be dealt with. And I feel like this, whatever's going on that is causing you to feel, that causes you Remember, this is this is for next week, okay? But, so it may not have happened yet the, in this, when this is being recorded. So just keep that in mind. Something could happen out of the blue, okay, that causes an upset. It causes an upset, makes you unhappy, but brings growth in the long run, okay? So just, it's not, you know what, you. I think you've been expecting this. You've been expecting it. So if you got something in your mind right now and you think you know what it is, you're probably right. Okay, something is is going to happen. I think that you're 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 you were waiting for. Okay. Um, I think you're you're trying to do too much. You got too much going on at one time. That this card can mean that as well. I think there's there's just it's, there's overwhelming. I'm overwhelmed. Somebody is overwhelmed. Will be overwhelmed. Okay. With emotion. The Queen of Cups reversed. Things are going to happen very fast, okay? So there's a fast-moving energy here where something happens, like, spontaneously. And, you know, it's, uh, it is like a, it's like a crisis. It's a midlife crisis. I mean, whatever happens, it, it, pro it might instear, in, instill some fear, okay? And you might fear that you're going to grow old alone or that, you know, this is going to bring about a lot of loneliness to your mind, to your heart. I see loneliness here, okay? There's going to be some loneliness from this, this severance that I see. I feel like there's some ties that are going to be severed. It could happen very quickly and it could bring about some overwhelming emotional fear, um hurt I'm alone I'm alone I'm all alone that kind of thing um, but you have the resources within you to get through this okay something is being shed this is shedding the old something is being shed 
okay? And you are being called to dig deep. You're being called to use the resources within you, all of them to get through this, to find your inner power, to use your power to get through this, okay? Think that you've gained a lot of skills throughout your lifetime. You can do this, you can take care of this, you can handle it. I feel like you are very skilled. You are very skilled in this emotional hurt arena and I'm sorry to tell you that okay skilled emotional hurt it's like you it's not like you haven't felt this before and I I know that's not a good thing but that's what I see I feel like you 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 can do this this isn't your first rodeo and you you will be okay okay whatever is happening is is divinely guided and it will bring you success and new opportunities okay there could be a, a, a death of something. There's a death of something. There's the, there is this is the death of an idea, okay? I mean, it, I mean, there, I mean, with this one right here, something is ending. This is this is a, a the, it's over. Something is over, and I think that you know you may get angry. You may be feel bitter. You may be feel you may feel very hurt. I think that you're going to be really, really upset. You're going to be upset over this this loss. There's some sort of loss that is coming up that needed to end so that you could be more stable and secure in the outcome. And I'm sorry to tell you that. there you Whatever is ending is bringing you something new and stability and security. Okay, so, so I really don't like to give messages like this. It really um, leads to your ultimate wish will fulfillment, even though you may not see it like that when it happens. You know, because the tower brings things in spontaneously that seems like a crisis. And at that time, it is a crisis, okay? And, and then, and then you, you start to see the blessing. The blessing starts to come. The growth starts to happen. And then security and stability come back. So this, this is just a period of time that is bringing you true growth. I believe that there are some ties that are going to be severed that could be severed very quickly and spontaneously that this tension, it's like cutting the tension with a sword or a knife and just, it's gone. Once you cut it, it's, it's, it's gone. Okay, something is leaving with this Four of Swords and this Ten of Swords. I mean, they're right next to each other. Something is leaving, but it's bringing you more stability and security. Okay, it is. It's, it's you know, overwhelming. It is overwhelming. But it does lead to the ultimate wish fulfillment. And I know that's, that's hard to hear, that you've got to lose something to have wish fulfillment. But... I, you know, you can't change God's plan. We all have different lessons to learn. We all have different paths. You know, what it, it is what it is. It is what it is. We all have to go through these struggles to get to where we need to be. And that's what this is. I think this is a week that it brings some overwhelming uh, feelings of hurt that that come through this these overwhelming feelings you've been expecting this completion you've been expecting this ending it happens it's hurtful and then the true growth starts to come could be with an aries leo or sagittarius we also also have taurus virgo capricorn and libra gemini aquarius so you know it could be i don't see the water signs at all but anyway i feel as though you know, it's time for you to focus, to, to really concentrate on your future, okay? I feel as though, you know, maybe it's this person's wish, okay? Or this person's wish, and it makes you very angry, okay? Because this is, this is you, unfortunately, and this is anger. So something is probably going to happen that makes you feel angry and bitter or, or alone, alone. You know, and that's a normal feeling, Libra. We all get it we all get anger we all get bitter and we all feel alone so don't think that it's just you all right so i just have to tell you that you are being called to really focus on your future
there is a feeling of bringing stability and newness to your life after this completion okay so whatever is happening is bringing you something new it really is judgment okay so this right here is a wake-up call it's an awakening I think there is something that a secret there is something that is about to be revealed you've been expecting it and it's gonna allow something something is going to be released and releasing something hurts many most of the time so I feel as though something is being released that causes an awakening within you it could be a mother could be a father I mean I'm just telling you what I see This card can also signify somebody from the other side is trying to come through. This could be a motherly figure, a grandmother, mother. Somebody motherly from the other side is, is probably assisting with this matter. Whatever it is, it's bringing you a new opportunity. And it is a blessing in disguise. Whatever is happening, there is a blessing in disguise. And you're not going to see it like that. You're not. Nope. Mm -mm. You're going to be quite upset about it. But you have the ability. You do have the ability to get through it. You have the resources within you to get through this and release this past. This is releasing the past and the judgment is releasing the past. Something is being re released that needs to go and I feel like it's divinely guided. And it's in your best interest even though it's not what you want. Steady progress. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. And this is so true, Libra. This is just another step on your journey. Something is being removed because it no longer serves you. <clears throat> and it's bringing you in something new and wonderful with that Ace of Wands. So this is what I have. I know it's not what you want to hear. But it is what it is. Talk to you later.